Hi friends! Today we will continue to make soldering iron which has instant heating. This soldering iron has a few interesting features. Firstly, it heats up much faster than any other. Soldering could be done a couple of seconds after switching on. Second, power was about 14 watts if fed by two serially connected to lithium battery. It can solder fairly large areas. This is very good, but not good for batteries. There are shortcomings, but about them later. In the first part, I showed this scheme. By the way, it was created using a free online program Easy EDA. The link is under the video. I recommend watching the first part if you hadn't yet watched. The link is under the video. Now let's continue. Secondary winding is made of two parallel pieces of wire. The diameter of each is 3.5 mm, done only one turn. The secondary winding additionally isolated with PTFE tape. Transistors left without cooling, because the soldering iron is designed for short-term work. But if you repeat the design, you can provide small radiators. The main critical point of this soldering iron is that it can kill the battery. Consumption is from 6 to 8 amperes at the two connected batteries in series. So later I used two batteries, but connected in parallel to increase their capacity. The device working a little worse, but the battery will work long. I advise you to use rechargeable batteries 18650 type with built-in protection. It makes no sense to use Nightcore, which you can see in the video. These are the same Panasonic and cost about $2 a piece. Under the video you will find links to cheaper batteries with protection. It is important to remember that as the soldering iron heats up quickly, it shouldn't be left turned on. Just press a button to do your job and turn off. Therefore, the batteries will be loaded. Not all the time, but only during the soldering. As corpse for inverter, I took a plastic box from ADSL distributor. To connect the power supply, used flat conductors. Soldering tip attached through standard brass terminals. They fixed on little plate of fiberglass. It is desirable to make holes for natural cooling in the box. The popular MT1 switch was used, but I dismantled it. In that sheet, this button can switch up to 4 amperes, but actually 2 times more. At first I wanted to use low power button and relay, but I did not find relay with low voltage coil among my components. Solder well for small and medium sized work fits perfectly. If you want more, you have to increase the voltage. Then he will cope with the larger portions. With components that I used, time of continuous operation is about 1 hour 20 minutes. Real output power is 13 watts and the efficiency is about 65%. Yes, it's not much, but device has its advantages, which I think many will appreciate. Scheme and PCB you will find under the video. There's also links to purchase similar modules that can be used for the construction of such a soldering iron, as well as components that are used in this project. Thanks for watching. I will be grateful for a subscription. With you was Akakasyan.